Disappearing Home Mystery. picture of lemonade waiting at home. Would you kids like to come over for some? Sure! Okay. I love lemonade. No, you don't. I do. I do. No, I do. <laughs> 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 Let me see your book, little Rex. <laughs> okay, okay, I won't take it. I just wanted to see it. I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Well, he is a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kids, but there won't be any lemonade today. It's gone. Somebody took your lemonade? Not just the lemonade. Come take a look. Whoa! Your house sure is neat and tidy, Mrs. Raccoon. It's neat and tidy because all their stuff is gone. Oh! Where is everything? I don't know. It was all here when we left this morning. Our rooms are empty, too. Everything's gone. <laughs> My bubble blankie's gone! <laughs> oh, honey, I just can't believe it. Who would take all our things? Hmm. This sounds like a mystery to me. We'll help you, Mrs. Raccoon, won't we? Yes! Oh, yes. Busy Town Action Bug News! Goldbug here with a light-breaking story in a... ...very empty house. What's the buzz in Busy Town, Huckle? All the raccoon's things are missing, and we don't know where they went. We're going to find their things and solve the disappearing home mystery. Don't worry, Rex. We'll find your boo-boo blankie. <laughs> Ready for it? Here goes! Huckle and the gang solve the disappearing home mystery? Will little Rex get his boo-boo blankie back? <laughs> Stay tuned to find out. Goldbug out! What should we do first, Huckle? 
Let's look around for some clues. Oh. Hmm. We didn't find anything. Neither did we. How can we solve a mystery if we don't have any clues? Hey, I found something. A red hat. Mrs. Raccoon, does this belong to anyone in your family? No, that's not ours. Then it's a clue. This hat must belong to whoever took everything. Hmm. Huh? Choo wop, woo woo. Choo wop. It's the woo, movers. Woo. Tender, loving, and care. We're never rough. We'll be extra careful when we move your stuff. We'll be extra careful when we move your stuff. Yikes! That doesn't sound so good. Let's get back to our one clue. This hat. Hmm. There's no name on it and no label. I don't know how we can find out whose hat this is. What should we do next? We should make a list of everything that's missing. Mrs. Raccoon, can you tell me what's gone? Sofa, coffee table, TV, toy cars. Dollhouse, Milky. Refrigerator, kitchen table, chairs, sneakers. Jackets, Milky. Plates, cups, glasses, toaster, telephone, lamp, sofa cushions, skateboard, school books, Milky. Pictures, tools, towels, bunk bed, toothbrush, rubber boots, fishing rod, piano, blankets, calendar, teapot, umbrella, cereal, blankie, ironing board, feather duster, and a cuckoo clock. That's everything? That's one long list. That's an awful lot of stuff. How could somebody carry all that away? They must have used a big truck. That's another clue. We should look for a big truck and see if the raccoon's things are inside it. Hello? Hello? Ah. Excuse me? Have you kids seen those movers, Tender, Loving and Care? Tender, Tender loving, loving and Care! We'll We're never run! Oh. Oh. Yeah, we saw them drive by here a while ago. They drove by? They were supposed to come here and move our furniture. We're moving to a new house today. How are we going to move all our things without them? We'll come and help you when we finish solving our mystery. Oh, thank you, dear. Oh, bleep, I just can't figure out what happened to those darn movers. Okay, where were we? Trucks. Right. Let's look for trucks and see if the raccoon things are inside. Only cars on this truck. Only fish in this truck. Only tomatoes in this truck. Uh, we looked in every truck we could find. Then we still didn't find the raccoon stuff. Let's go over our clues again. Red hat, truck. That's not much to go on. Tender, loving, and care. We're never rough. We'll be extra careful when we move. Hold on, I want a word with you. Why didn't you come to move our things? But we did move your stuff. A whole house full of it. We took it all to your new house this morning. No, you didn't. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. So the movers say they moved a house full of stuff, but the goat stuff wasn't moved. So the movers must have moved somebody else's stuff. Hmm. Oh. Huh. Hmm. I'll bet this is yours, isn't it? 
Yeah, thanks. I've been looking for it all day. I know where the raccoon stuff is. You do? Yep. Grandpa Goat, can you take us to your new house? I've got a hunch Huckle has solved another mystery, folks. What's the scoop, Huckle? The movers did move a house full of stuff, but it wasn't Grandpa and Granny Goats. They moved the raccoon stuff by mistake, which means the raccoon thing should be all right here. Whoa! Oh, that is our stuff. Yay! Yay! My boo-boo blankie. <laughs> You did it, Huckle! Mystery solved! Tell me, Huckle, how did you solve the mystery? Well, Goldbug, here's how it happened. First, we found a red hat that was left behind at the raccoon's house. When Grandpa Goat was asking the movers why they hadn't moved his things, I noticed that one of the movers was missing his red cap. That's how I figured out that the movers had moved the wrong house. Hooray for Huckle! Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one too. So we've got to move all this stuff back to the raccoon's house. And then move the goat stuff back here? I'm afraid so. Oh. Tender, loving, and care. They're never rough. They should have been careful to move the right stuff. No. Oh. <laughs> A slipping, sliding, flipping, flying mystery. to see the new house that's being built over on Maple Street. Me too! Oh, goodness gracious! <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Dear me, I was watching my hat instead of where I was going, and I drove my pickle car right into that wet cement there. Uh-oh. I think it's stuck for good, Mr. Frumble. Sally's right. Nothing will be able to pull it out of wet cement. Huh? Never fear, Mr. Fix-It's here. Stand back, everyone. Time to test my latest invention. My super strong super magnet! Wow! Whoa. Is it a pickle magnet, Mr. Fix-It? No, Sally. It's a metal magnet. The engine inside the pickle car is metal, so it will stick to the magnet. Watch! Wow! That magnet is powerful! Hooray, Hooray for Mr. Mr. Fix-It! Fix -It. Hello? Never fear, Mr. Fix-It will be right there. I've got to go and pull a banana car out of a ditch. Bye. See ya. Hey, if we don't hurry, that new house they're building is going to be all built before we get there. You're right, Loli. Let's go. Bye. Bye-bye. Wow, it sure is cool to see what a house looks like without its outsides on. Very cool. Hey, this is kind of like going to a drive-in movie. We get to sit in our cars and watch the show. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look what's happening. Everything is slipping and sliding and flipping and flying through the air. Whoa! Whoa. He even punched the plumber. Hey, put me down. Somebody. What happened, Huckle? Why did those things do that? Beats me, Sally. Well, I've never seen anything like it before. Wow. <laughs> Pipes, if you keep hanging around, you'll never get that house finished. <laughs> well, I certainly can't hang around. I've got work to do. Whoa. What 
just happened? I don't know. It's a mystery. Easy tail action buggies. Goldbug here at the construction site where it looks like Huckle is building another busy town mystery. What's the buzz, Huckle? Well, Goldbug, for some unknown reason, things are slipping and sliding. And flipping and flying. So I'm going to solve the mystery and find out why. Ready for it? Here it goes. for important updates while Huckle and his pals hammer out this mystery. Goldbug out! We know why everything's slipping and sliding, flipping and flying. You do? Why? It's because the house they're building is haunted. And ghosts are making it happen. It's not ghosts. Hey, maybe the wind did it. Good suggestion, Sally. But if the wind was strong enough to blow all those heavy things, it would have easily blown the stack of paper off the work table, too. But it didn't, so it couldn't have been the wind. But if it wasn't the wind, then what did make everything slip and slide and fly around? Uncle, Lolly, Sally, help! Something strange is going on at my dad's bakery. What are we waiting for? Let's go to the bakery! Whoa! The pots, pans, and muffin tins are slipping and sliding. And flipping and flying. Just like the tools at the new house. What just happened? Hi, Hi Mr. Fix-It! Hi! 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 What is going on? It's obvious! It is? Your bakery is haunted! Oh. <laughs> My bakery is haunted? No, Baker Humperdink. I'm sure it's not haunted. Something else must have caused this. Like, maybe... Oh, I know. Maybe it was a small earthquake or something. Maybe. Well, there's one way to find out. Whenever there's any kind of shaking, it makes the cakes I'm baking go flat. So if there was a small earthquake, the cake that's in the oven right now would be flat as a pancake. Let's see. Nope, it's not flat. It's big and fluffy and delicious looking. Then that means it wasn't an earthquake, not even a small one. But if it wasn't the wind or an earthquake, what made everything slip and slide? And flip and fly. Actually, guys, everything didn't fly around. Only some things did. Maybe we should make piles of things that did and the things that didn't. Good idea, Sally. That might give us some clues. Okay, so the wooden spoons, plastic bowls, and glass cups didn't slip and slide. But the metal pots and pans and the metal muffin tins did flip and fly. Hmm. So only things made of metal flew around. What about the house Pipes was building? Were the things that flew around there made of metal, too? Yes, they were. Well, that is, everything except Pipes. Pipes isn't made of metal. <laughs> That's right, Loli. Hmm. But wait, Pipes did have metal on him. The tools in his tool belt were made of metal. Oh, so that's our first clue. Only things made of metal flew around. Exactly, Sally. So I think we need to talk to someone who knows all about metal things. A robot? <laughs> <laughs> no, but how about Blacksmith Bear? Good idea, Loli. He makes all kinds of things out of metal. Maybe he can help us solve this mystery. Let's get busy, Tim. Good luck, Huckle. <laughs> so what can I do for you, kids? Well, Blacksmith Bear, since you know a lot about metal things, we came to ask you if you know why metal things would slip and slide... And flip and fly. 
Exactly what do you mean by slip and slide and flip and fly? Whoa! whoa. Wow. Oh, so that's what you mean. Yeah, and we're trying to figure out what keeps making metal things move around like that. Oh. Mr. Fix-It again. Why, if I didn't know better, I'd say my shop was haunted. <laughs> Told ya! No, I don't think your shop is haunted, Blacksmith Bear. But I still don't know what is moving all the metal things. Now, careful, kids. There's nails scattered all over the floor. Hold still while I clean them up. There. That does it. Hmm. A magnet moves things made of metal. Maybe a magnet made everything slip and slide. And flip and fly. No, I don't know, Huckle. It would have to be a magnet that's a lot bigger and a lot more powerful than this one. Huh. You're right. And I think I know just the magnet that is big and powerful enough. Excuse me, Mr. Fixit. What's the buzz in busy town, Huckle? Have you solved the mystery? I think so, Goldbug. Here's what happened. First, we saw some things flying around the air in busy town, but not everything. When we made piles of things that did and things that didn't, we discovered only metal things flew around. When Blacksmith Bear used a magnet to pick up nails, I figured out it was a giant magnet that caused all the metal things to slip and slide and flip and fly. Mr. Fix-It, super strong, super magnet to be exact. I'll show you. Would you please switch your magnet on for me, Mr. Fix-It? Sure thing, Huckle. Whoa. Well, what do you know? Now please turn your magnet off. Right, Huckle. Mystery solved. Hooray for Huckle! Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one too. But I couldn't have solved this mystery without everyone's help. There. I turned down the strength of my magnet so it won't cause any more slipping, sliding, flipping, and flying. Hello? I'll be right there. Mr. Frumble's pickle car needs a tow. Did he drive it into cement again? <laughs> you got it. That Mr. Fixit is the busiest tow truck driver in Busy Town. Goldbug out. So long. See ya. Bye. You and me saw the mystery. of the unpopular pizzeria. Oh, oh, get, get off. Come on. Hi, Peppino. What are you doing? I'm taking the decorations off of my pizza delivery car. Why? Your car looks great with all those pizza slices on it. I decided it's time to quit the pizza business. Uh, nobody like a pizza anymore. We huh? love no pizza. Are you kidding? Pizza's the best. 
you must be the only ones in busy town who do, because nobody has phoned me to order pizza for a whole week now. Really? It seems kind of strange that a whole town would stop liking pizza all at the same time. I think so too, Loli. In fact, I would call it... a mystery. Busy Town Action Bug News! This is Goldbug reporting live for Busy Town Action News. Apparently, Peppino has a puzzling pizza problem. His pizzeria is suddenly unpopular. Is that right, Puckle? That's right, Goldbug. For some reason, no one is phoning to order pizza anymore. That's a mystery, and we are going to solve it. Hooray! Yippee! Ready for it? Here it his team are going to solve the pizzeria misteria. Stay tuned. I'm Goldbug, and that's the buzz in Busy Town. Goldbug out. Where do we start looking for clues to solve this mystery, Huckle? Why don't we start at Peppino's Pizzeria? Come on, team. All this construction is making Main Street a big mess. Hey, that's why no one's buying pizza. Customers can't park here. No, that's not why. Customers don't come to the pizzeria. They call me on the phone, and I deliver the hot pizza right to their home. Darn. I thought I had this mystery all figured out. Looks like we need to find another clue. Hey, check this out. It looks like a big fat snake. Wow. Look at all those pretty colored wires. That's a telephone cable. The construction workers accidentally dug it up. Aha! Uh -huh. That's why you're not getting any calls for pizza. The telephone line must be broken. That's not why. They fixed it a week ago. Oh, no. Another good clue we can't use. Peppino, did you change your famous pizza recipe lately? Good question, Sally. If you did, maybe customers don't like the new taste. Oh, no. My pizzas are just as delicious as they've always been. Come in and taste one yourselves. Wow! Great! Mmm, this does taste great. Mmm, mmm, it's the best pizza there is. <laughs> and the gooeyest, too. <sighs> I am going to miss my lovely pizzeria. Don't give up hope yet, Peppino. That's right. Once we solve this mystery, your phone will be ringing off the hook. Maybe before we solve the mystery. Oh, hello, Papino's Pizzeria, the perfect pizza place. Oh, Gordon? No, I'm sorry, you must have the wrong number. There's no one named Gordon here. Goodbye. At least we know your phone works. I've been getting calls for someone named Gordon all week. Hmm. What if you change your sign to say Gordon's Pizzeria? Well, just a thought. <laughs> you like my pizza, but it doesn't seem like anyone else in Busy Town does. Well, there's one way to find out if that's true. We can go around Busy Town and ask people if they like pizza. That's a good idea, Huckle. We'll do a Busy Town survey. Hello, Sparky and Squirty. Hi, Sally. Hey, what's up, Sally? I'm doing a survey to find out how many people in Busy Town like pizza. Oh, 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 I bet I know the answer. 276. No, I think that 324 people in Busy Town like pizza. <laughs> no, you don't need to guess how many like pizza. I just need to know if you like pizza. Oh, that's easy. I love pizza. Oh, oh, sure. I like pizza. Good. That's two more yeses. I love pizza. Mmm, pizza. I love pizza. Pizza is yummy. Ding, 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 ding. Hey, what's going on? We're stopping everyone we see in Busy Town to ask if they like pizza. 
I like pizza. Pizza is the best. Pizza with pepperoni and pickles. That's not the best, Pigwill. Pizza with sardines is best. No way. You can have that on your pizza. Okay, okay, next question. Where do you like to buy your pizza? We used to get it at Pepino's Pizzeria. But not anymore. He's too grumpy. Grumpy? Well, that's odd. Mrs. McGillicuddy said that, too. I surveyed 18 pizza lovers, and five of them complained about Pepino's rude phone manners. Yeah! Last week, when we phoned to order a pizza, he told us to make our own. Then he hung up. I don't get it. Pepino is always friendly when he answers the phone. I know. We heard him ourselves. Well, he wasn't friendly to us, so we're getting chicken fingers instead. No, we're not. We're getting fish and chips. Chicken fingers! Fish and chips! Chicken fingers. I think we've done enough interviewing to know that there are lots of people in Busy Town who like pizza. It sounds like it's Pepino's phone manners they don't like. Make your own pizza and stop calling me. There's someone who is grumpy, Mr. Gronkle. And he sounds even more grumpy than normal today. <sighs> Hi, Mr. Gronkle. <clears throat> is everything okay? No, it isn't. This darn phone of mine won't stop ringing. Whenever I answer it, it's someone wanting pizza. I don't know anything about pizza. Why, I wouldn't eat pizza if I were stranded on the North Pole. Hey, wait a minute. This is all starting to make sense. Mr. Gronkle, when did you start getting phone calls about pizza? A week ago. Aha! And would your first name happen to be Gordon? Of course it's Gordon. But what does that have to do with anything? A Goldbug here with an action news update. Huckle, are you any closer to figuring out the perplexing mystery of the unpopular pizzeria? Yes, I am, Goldbug. Here are some of the things we did to help us solve the case. First, we ate some pizza to see if it was just as tasty as always. And it was delicious. Yep, it was. Then, we asked people around Busy Town if they liked pizza. It turns out everybody loves it. But we found out if they called to order pizza, they didn't hear the friendly voice of Pepino. Mr. Gronkle answers the phone instead. Pepino told us a broken telephone cable outside of the pizzeria was fixed last week. That's the same time customers stopped calling for pizza. Ah, are you saying the telephone wires may have been mixed up? That's right, because Pepino's Pizzeria calls are going to Mr. Gronkle's house, and Mr. Gronkle's calls are going to the pizzeria. Sounds to me like this mystery is solved. Almost. We need to go back to that road construction site first and check it out. Well, don't just stand there. Go and get this mess sorted out. Mixed up phone calls, you see. Well, with thousands of wires in busy town going every which way, it is possible. How do you keep them all straight? We use different colored wires and match the colors. I matched up the wires on this telephone cable just last week. Hmm, let's have a look. See? The green wire goes to green, yellow wire to yellow. Pink to pink, orange to orange. Aha! Red to purple, purple to red. Huh, what do you know? I joined them together the wrong way. The red wire should go to the red wire. And the purple wire to the other purple wire. <laughs> right oh, Sally. I'll have this fixed faster than you can say, hello, this is Pepino's Pizzeria, the perfect pizza place. Hello, hello this, this is Pepino's Pizzeria, Pizzeria, the perfect pizza place. Done! Whew. Ooh, you are fast. How can you tell if that solved the problem? By calling Pepino's Pizzeria, like this. It's ringing. If Mr. Gronkle answers, don't ask for pizza. That makes him cranky. Hello, I'd like to order the biggest pizza in Busy Town. It's Pepino. He sounds really happy. We did it! It's big! Yahoo! Happy to be in hell. Goldbug here with an action news update. Busy Town pizza lovers can celebrate. The unpopular pizzeria mystery has been solved. Thanks to Huckle. I can't take all the credit, Goldbug. It was teamwork. You Yay! said it! Hooray for Huckle! Everybody all together Solve the mystery with Huckle You can solve one, two Yay! Did someone here order a pizza? Mamma mia! 
I thought I smelled pepperonis. And gooey, gooey cheese. The biggest pizza in busy town. It's my way of saying thank you. You're welcome, Peppino. There's only one thing I like better than pizza, and that's solving mysteries. Hmm. On second thought, I think I like your pizza even better. Yeah! <laughs> The Silly Scarecrow Mystery. Okay, everyone ready to go to Farmer Pig's farm? I'll race you to the door, but I have to warn you, I'm wearing my brand new running shoe. It has a, an extra thick rubber sole that helps me run faster. Okay, ready to race? One, two, three, go! Hey, no fear! <laughs> Yay! I win! Ha! We're here, ready for the sleepover! Um, you're kind of early, Pig Will and Pig Won't. We just finished lunch. The sleepover isn't until nighttime. We know. We just didn't want to be late. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why don't you come with us to Farmer Pig's farm? We're going to pick some corn. Oh, I love corn. Even more than Pig Won't. No, you don't. I love corn more than you! I'll race everyone to the vehicles. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Wait for us! <laughs> One, two, three, go! Okay, Loli wins again. <laughs> you mean Loli's new extra fast running shoe wins again? Hey, look at that scarecrow. <laughs> He's not scary. He's silly. Yeah, real silly. Yeah. He's the silliest looking scarecrow I've ever seen. Yeah, scarecrows are supposed to scare crows away. He wouldn't even scare a mosquito away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> when Big Will and Big Won are afraid, they sure run fast. You're right. I don't even think my new extra fast running shoe could catch up to them. <laughs> <laughs> Come back, you two. The scarecrow didn't move. It was just the wind. We knew that. Like we said, that silly scarecrow couldn't scare anything. Especially us. Okay. The corn's all picked. Time to head home. One, two, three, go! <laughs> hey, no fair! <laughs> well, we've all had a busy day. Time to go to sleep. Good night, Loli. Ah, good night, Huckle. Night, Pigwill. <sighs> night, Loli. Huckle. Night, Pigwill. Big won't. <sighs> Huckle. Loli. Big Will! Big Will! Do you hear that sound? Yes! Yeah! Oh. Is everything okay? We heard it! We saw its shadow! Heard what? Whose shadow? The Scarecrow! The Scarecrow? Uh -huh. Relax, you guys. It's only the wind blowing a tree branch against the window. Why would you think it was the Scarecrow? <laughs> because we called it names. We called it silly. So now it's coming after us. <laughs> and now you're being silly. Scarecrows are not alive. They can't hear what you say. And they can't get off their poles and walk around. <laughs> Come on. Look, straw, just like in the Scarecrow. See, the Scarecrow was here. Ah! I'm sure the Scarecrow was not here. Hmm, but I'm not sure where the straw came from. And you know what that means? It means we have a mystery to solve. Busy Town Action Fun News! Goldbug here, always on the job, day and night. 
You're just in time, Goldbug. We have a mystery on our hands. We're going to find out where this straw came from and solve the silly scarecrow mystery. Goldbug? Oh, yes. Ready for it? Here goes! Farmer Pig's farm to look for clues. That scarecrow is a lot scarier than we thought. He looks really mad at us. Well, if it makes you feel better, the scarecrow is in exactly the same place as it was yesterday. It hasn't moved at all. Yeah, and see? It's just made of old clothes stuffed with straw. It can't walk around. Oh no, look! There's the scarecrow's boot prints! And I bet the boot prints lead right to Huckle's house! Well, there's one way to find out. Let's follow those boot prints. One, two, three, go! Yeah! Wait for us! Look, the boot prints don't lead to our house. They lead right to Farmer Pig's farm. And to Farmer Pig's boots. Hey, kids. Good to see you. Did you get some corn yesterday? Yes, Farmer Pig. Thanks. What are you doing? Just cleaning the bottom of my boots. Dirt and straw keep getting stuck to them. What are you kids doing? Well, we're trying to solve a mystery. Have you ever heard of a scarecrow that could move around by itself? No, but I wish mine could. Then I wouldn't have to carry it back and forth to my berry patch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the boot tracks are Farmer Pig's, not the Scarecrow's. But we still don't know how that Scarecrow straw got into Huckle's bedroom last night. You're right, but it's getting late, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow to solve this mystery. Scarecrow visits us again tonight. Wait, I've got an idea. Let me guess. You don't want to be alone and you want to stay over at my place again tonight. Please? Okay. No problem. Good morning, everyone. <coughs> well, any more scarecrow visits last night? Nope. The only strange sounds were... His snoring! <coughs> it wasn't me, it was you! It was not, it was you! <gasps> Look! Straw! I thought we cleaned up all the straw! We did! This is new straw! The scarecrow came back last night! Yeah! Maybe we should go back to the cornfield. <laughs> to look for more clues? No! To apologize to the scarecrow for calling him silly! The scarecrow is gone! I told you he could walk around! <laughs> Yeah! Follow that scarecrow! One, two, three, go! Hey, the scarecrow wasn't walking around by itself. Farmer Pig was carrying the scarecrow on his shoulder. Time for you to keep the birds away from my berry patch for a while. Hey, kids! Hi! Hi. What's wrong, Lily? Why are you hopping up and down like that? Oh, I've got a big leaf stuck to the bottom of my new running shoe. Things keep getting stuck to the rubber. Well, anyway, Pig Will and Pig Won't will be happy to know you weren't moving by yourself. You're right. But how did that straw get into my room? Hmm. If a leaf can get stuck in Lily's shoe, maybe... Aha! Uh -huh. I think I know the answer! Well, 
Huckle, Huckle, what's the buzz in busy town on this bright sunny morning? Have you solved the silly scarecrow mystery? Yes, Goldbug. I think I know how the straw got into my bedroom. You do? Was it a walking scarecrow? No, Goldbug. I think it was Lolly. Me? I didn't bring it in. Well, you didn't. But your new shoe did. My new shoe? How? Well, here's what I think happened. First, Lolly got a new running shoe the same day that we all went to Farmer Pig's field. The next day, we found straw in my bedroom. Pig Will and Pig Won't were afraid that the Scarecrow put it there. We went back to Farmer Pig's field, but the Scarecrow was gone. That's when we discovered Farmer Pig moves it from field to field. When we found it in the berry patch, we also found leaves and straw stuck to the bottom of Lolly's shoe, which he must have tracked right back to my bedroom. Your new shoe has a thick, rubbery bottom, right? Right. And things keep getting stuck to the bottom, right? Right. So that's why I think the straw got stuck to your shoe and then fell off in my room. Well, let's see if Huckle's right. Look, straw. Huckle was right. Everybody all together solved a mystery. Huckle, you can solve one, two. Looking for a scarecrow. But we also think we'd rather have a silly scarecrow than a scary one. <laughs> <laughs> And Sally, what can I do for you today? We've come to get a jar of your famous applesauce. Wow, Granny. You peel apples faster than anyone. I hope so, Sally. This year I want to win another ribbon for being the fastest apple peeler in busy town. So I have to practice, practice, practice. Well, good luck, Granny. We hope you win. Thanks. I'll try my best. Hmm. I wonder where Lowly is. He was supposed to meet us here. He's probably just late. Hmm. Hey, I know. Why don't we pick some more apples for Granny to peel while we're waiting for Lowly? Good idea, Sally. Let's go. Let's hurry and get these apples back to the bakery, Charlie. Hi, Baker Humperdink. Are you going to be baking apple pies? You bet! Apple pies, apple cake, apple strudel, apple crisp, apple cobbler, apple flan... Mm. <laughs> Hello, Loli. If you're looking for Huckle and Sally, they're picking apples in the orchard. Thanks, Baker Humperdink. Hello, Granny Good Pig. Huh? Who was that? Hi, guys. How's the apple picking going? Hi, Loli. Not so good. It's only half full. We can't reach the apples that are higher up. Never fear. Apple picker Loli is here. Yeah. Huh. Here they come. 
<laughs> Hooray for Lily! <laughs> Here you go, Granny. Another basket full of apples to help you practice your peeling. Wow! Look at that pile of apple peels now! I don't think Granny is going to have any trouble winning the fastest apple peeler contest. She's speedy. Hey, wait a second. Huh? Where's my apple car? Probably right where you left it, Lily. No, Sally. I parked it right beside Granny's stand. And now it's gone. It's gone? It can't be gone. Well, it is, Huckle. Do you see it anywhere? No, Lily. And that can only mean one thing. We have... A mystery to solve! Busy Town Action Bug News! Goldbug here for Busy Town News, reporting live from Granny Goodpig's applesauce stand. What's up, Huckle? Well, Goldbug, we've got a missing apple car mystery on our hands. <gasps> but don't worry, I'm going to solve this mystery and find out what happened to Loli's apple car. Okay then, get ready for it. Here goes! <gasps> So there you have it, folks. Huckle is going to get down to the core of this apple car mystery. Stay tuned for important updates. Goldbug out. Hey, maybe Granny saw what happened. Did you, Granny? Did you see what happened to Loli's apple car? Sorry, dear. No, I don't see much of anything these days. Maybe it's time you got some new glasses, Granny. I think you're right, Sally. I will. <gasps> it's my turn to drive, Pigwall. No, Pigwall. It's my turn. <laughs> Hold everything. We just solved the mystery. You know what happened to my apple car? <laughs> well, tell me. I will tell you. No, you won't. I'll tell you. No, it's my turn. My turn. No, my turn. My turn. Will somebody please tell me? Okay. On the way here, we passed by a big truck that had something big and round on the back of it. Covered with a sheet. It must have been your, your apple car. car. Well, what are we waiting for? Hop in, Loli. Let's go see. <laughs> it's my turn to drive, Pig Wong. No, my turn. My turn. My turn. My turn. My turn. My turn. The truck. Let's follow it. Hey, it's car dealer Jack. Let's check it out. Hi, Jack. Could we please ask you a question? Loli lost his apple car, and someone said they thought that it might be on your truck. Well, there's definitely a car on the back of my truck. After all, I am Crazy Jack, and this is Crazy Jack's car and truck dealership, where I bring the cars to sell. <gasps> You're selling my apple car? Nope. I'm selling a melon car, not an apple car. <gasps> well, we were right, weren't we? It was Loli's apple car on the truck, wasn't it? No, it was a melon car. Huh? We knew that. Okay, so what do we do now, Huckle? How are we going to find out what really happened to my apple car? Hmm, Granny Goodpig didn't see anything. Was there anyone else around the orchard who might have seen what happened to Loli's car? Hey, yes, there was someone else around. Humperdink and Abel Baker Charlie. I saw them when I first got there. Oh, that's right. We saw them, too. Maybe they saw something that will give us a clue to what happened to your apple car. Let's go to the bakery. Huh? <gasps> oh, no, you don't. It's my turn. Hey, kids.
kids, what's up? You look like you're looking for something. If it's something good to eat, you've come to the right place. My apple car disappeared at Granny's applesauce stand this morning. We were wondering if maybe you saw what happened to it. Sorry, we didn't see anything. Just Granny Goodpig peeling apples. And I've never seen such a big pile of apple peels. We solved the mystery. You did? Yeah, here's what happened. The bakers thought Loli's apple car was a giant apple. And they used it to make a giant apple pie. Are we right? Are we? We are right. Right? No. no. We, we knew, knew that. that. What now, Huckle? I think we should go back to Granny Goodpig's applesauce stand and look for any clues we might have missed. Let's go. Bye. Bye. Peel pile is as big as a haystack. I just don't get it. How could something as big as my apple cart just disappear? It was there one minute, then gone the next. My turn! Ah! Hey, where did they go? I don't see the pigs or their truck anywhere. They just disappeared. They were here one minute and gone the next. Just like my apple car. Look, they're in the haystack. <laughs> Come on, let's get them out. <laughs> hey, what happened to our truck? It's gone. It disappeared. It's not gone. You just can't see it because it's covered with hay. It's in the haystack. <laughs> <laughs> It's here, but we just can't see it because it's covered in hay. Hmm. We, we found, found it. it! And I think you just helped me find Loli's apple car. You did? We did? So, Huckle, have you peeled away the mystery from the missing apple car? I think I have, Goldbug. I think Loli's car is right where he left it. Only we can't see it because it's buried under Granny's giant apple peel pile. <gasps> you think so, Huckle? Let's find out. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, my. Oh, so that's where Loli's apple car was. <laughs> well, Granny, this is what I think happened. First, Loli parked his car right next to where you were peeling your apples. Then you kept peeling apples so fast that the apple pile grew bigger and bigger. The apple pile grew so big that it covered Loli's apple car, and no one could see it. And you were right. Hooray for Huckle! Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one too. A Dirty Laundry Mystery. Hi, Huckle. Hi, Sally. Hi, Big Will. Hi, Big Will. Hi. What are you looking at? Just wait. You'll see. <laughs> Loli! That's your best disguise yet. Oh, thanks. It'd be a better disguise if I wasn't allergic to dandelions. <laughs> it would. Whoa! Ah, oh. oh, there's nothing to see here. Just wait. Wait for what? There's nothing going on? <gasps> ah! Hooray! Yeah! Yeah! That's what we're waiting to see. Hi, kids. Whoops. There goes my glass. Oh, 
Hi, kids. He doesn't look very happy. Did you see his uniform? It was all dirty. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Sally. Bridget's dress is dirty, too. I just don't understand it. What's wrong, Mrs. Murphy? Hello, kids. I washed these clothes this morning, and they were clean when I hung them on the line, but now look at them. What a mess. <laughs> I just don't know what could have happened to them. This sounds like... a mystery! And we love solving mysteries, don't we? We, we sure do! Busy Town Action Club News! Goldbug here, ready to dish the dirt. What's the buzz in Busy Town, Huckle? Mrs. Murphy's laundry was clean this morning, but somehow got dirty on the clothesline. We're gonna find out what happened and solve the dirty laundry mystery. Ready for it? Here goes! <gasps> Huckle and the gang clean up this mystery? Stay tuned to find out. Goldbug out! What should we do first, Huckle? Hmm. Let's look for footprints. If someone came into the garden and messed up the clothes, they would have left footprints in the dirt. Aha! Someone was here! There's only one set of footprints, and we know Mrs. Murphy walked through here. So those footprints must belong to Mrs. Murphy. Oh, right. And there are no other footprints, so nobody else came into the garden. Well, then, that's our first clue. Right. We know that nobody came into the garden to dirty the clothes. Let's look for more clues. I wonder what these stains are. I bet if we knew, that would be a good clue. Sure would. Oh, I can tell you what they are. Let me put my sniffer to work. It smells like roses. No, 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 like onions. No, like... I'm not sure what it smells like. I'm a better sniffer than you. Stand back and let my nose have a whiff. Well? It smells like chocolate cake. No, more like dirty socks. No. I have no idea what it smells like. <gasps> we need a real expert sniffer. And I know who has the best nose in town. Bentley Bloodhound! I knew that. No, you didn't. Hey, wait for us! Hello, everybody. Hi, Bentley. What are you doing? Oh, just relaxing and enjoying some busy town smells. Like... Ah, Hannah Hedgehog's fresh blueberry pie. Hannah Hedgehog? But she lives six blocks away from here. Oh, and Farmer Pig has just cut open a nice ripe watermelon. Mmm. Oh, Farmer Pig lives miles away. You have got the best sniffer in busy town. You bet I do, Loli. Now, what can I do for you? We need some help, Bentley. Can you tell us what these stains are by smelling them? Sure thing, Huckle. That's mayonnaise. And the yellow one? That is mustard. A light honey mustard from a fresh jar just opened. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Thanks, Bentley. No problem, Huckle. Always glad to help. Can you tell me more about that blueberry pie? Does Hannah Hedgehog have any ice cream to go with it? Come on, Hedgehog! Yeah. Well. Oops, gotta go! So we know nobody came into the garden. 
and the clothes have mayonnaise and mustard on them. Let's look for more clues. Oh, look at the yummy carrots. We'll look for clues in the garden. Come on, Big Wonk. Hmm. I found some lettuce. And tomato. I found some cheese. I found some bologna. We found some bread. Bread doesn't grow in gardens, does it? It sure doesn't. That's another clue. Uh-oh, Rudolph dropped his map. I hope he doesn't get lost up there. Let's get back to our mystery. Our clues so far are bread, bologna, cheese, tomato, lettuce, mayonnaise, and mustard. What do you get when you put all those together? A delicious sandwich! <laughs> You're absolutely right, Pigwill. I am? Yes. Somebody's sandwich ended up on those clothes. But how did the sandwich get here if nobody came into the garden? Good question. Let's ask the neighbors. Maybe they saw what happened. Uncle, come see! We got a real life spaceship from Mars! Mmm! A chocolate chip spaceship! My favorite kind! It's just a cookie! It's a special spaceship cookie! We were playing and we heard a loud vroom, and boom! It just fell out of the sky! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Even if it did fall from the sky, it's just a cookie. It's not a spaceship. No, this is way, way better than a spaceship! It's raining food! Oh, yeah! Uh, I've never heard of it raining food. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. There must be another answer. Let's see. Food falling from the sky? Maybe the sandwich fell from the sky, too. Right onto the clothes. I bet you're right, Loli. The sandwich fell over there, and the cookie fell here. Hmm. But there's nobody up there. <gasps> What's that noise? It's the Martians! They're back! It's not Martians, it's just Rudolph. Oops! Hmm. Wait a minute. Food falling from the sky? Yes! I think I know what happened to the Murphy's clothes. And I know where the cookie came from, too. Goldbug here on the scene with the latest on the dirty laundry mystery. What's the scoop, Huckle? The stains on the clothing are all food stains from a sandwich. A sandwich that fell from the sky. I knew it! I knew it! It's raining food! No, it's not raining food. Then why did it fall from the sky? Where did it come from? Let's go ask Rudolph. Hi, Rudolph. How are you today? I'm great, Huckle. But boy, oh boy, I'm starving. Why? Didn't you pack a lunch? Yes, I did. But I didn't get to eat it. It disappeared. It didn't really disappear. Here's what I think happened. Rudolph was flying his plane, and he was practicing flying upside down. Then he decided to eat his lunch. But he was upside down, so his sandwich and cookie fell out of the plane. The cookie landed by the mouse house. And the sandwich landed on Mrs. Murphy's clean clothes, getting them all dirty. Oh, so that's where my lunch went. You did it, Hucko. Mystery solved. Everybody all together solved a mystery with Hucko. You can solve one, two. Hooray for Hucko! I'm still hungry. If you're hungry, you're in luck. Haven't you heard? It's raining food! <laughs> <laughs>